Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Praise God. God. Our Heavenly Father, and giving thanks for His sweet Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and to the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, who is in our midst with us, and welcome, even the Sigrin God, thanks for the, the angel of the Lord, as he said in the Psalms, that encampeth around them that fear him. Glory to God. So we know we are in good company. We are in the best of company, the best of security, or the best of protection that one could ever have living this life on this planet Earth. Glory to God in the name of Jesus this evening. I'm giving God thanks for my yet spirit life, spirit life to be here once more time again on this program to you know, come to talk about him or to do in this Bible study. It's truly a great pleasure. And I'm thanking him for his mercy and grace towards us all. This evening, praise God. I'm giving God thanks tonight that I have something, a little something to, you know, a little something that you know, I'm researching and reading and, you know, I'm giving God thanks. Somebody tell me that one of, one person who inspired me at the time, he said, because God already has made nothing out of nothing, it's better to have something more than nothing. He said, it's better you have a dollar and said, God, I just have a dollar, Lord. I wanted to work with this dollar versus having nothing at all. So praise God, glory to God. I'm giving God thanks this evening for this little, um, what I have here put together so I could have something to bring forth this evening. Praise God. Let's pray in the name of Jesus that, glory to God, that it may be a blessing unto your heart. And just to take my time and, you know, I may not, you know, but to God be the glory. I am giving God thanks for everything. So the topic is said, praise God. How important is discernment? And surely we have the answer. Very important. And I say this is a part of researching and reading and putting scriptures together to, to you know, to bring out something this evening. So, first we want to know what is discernment? And who is the only source of discernment? The Bible said that, praise God, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 reminds us that Let's pick it up from, you know, the, the full verse. He said, he said, now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Glory to God. You know, this is the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. Oh, bless the name, mighty Father God. The same spirit as we know are the comforter, the spirit of truth. And then it go down to, dropping down to verse 10. So we see where it come from, who it come from. And you know, he give the gifts, are the gifts that the, that the Holy Spirit give unto, you know, the, you know, in the church. We are in the church. So let's pick it up from verse 10, having the point he said. To another, the working of miracles. To another, Prophesy or prophecy, prophecy to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. Right there, we see the, the line that said, to another discerning of spirits, and surely of assurity that. There are many spirits, as we know, that is gone out into this world and is here in this world today. And this is the work of the Holy Ghost that he gave unto 
and to the church for, you know, so that we may be able to understand and to know what is going on when it comes to truth or error or wrong. Praise the name of Jesus. Discernment is a kind of wisdom that comes from the Holy Spirit. And you know, it helps believers to distinguish between good and evil, truth and falsehood. It is the ability to see the instinct to instinct instinctuality, recognizing subtle differences. Discernment also allows one knowledge to penetrate the cloudness and cut through layers of confusion that we can have sometime and ambiguity. It said to perceive distinctions accurately. Wisdom is the product of insight and understanding gained through the ability to discern. Praise the name of Jesus, praise God. Second year, we look at why spiritual discernment is important also. Praise the name of Jesus. So spiritual discernment will help us to know God's character and will. This is the heart of spiritual discernment. Praise God, which enables us to to distinguish the voice of God from the voice of the world. Praise the name of Jesus. Very important that when we hear voice, we'll be able to know which voice is of God and which voice is that other voice. Glory to God. It is very serious for us to know these things as we will surely be led astray. It can cause us to go down the wrong direction. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we do not know the voice of God, I believe Paul tells us in our scripture that there are many voices out there in this world. And so the Spirit of God will help us to identify the right voice. Because we don't want to be led astray. Praise the name of Jesus. It helps us to have a sense that what we hear is right from what are wrong. Spiritual discernment fends off temptation and allow us to hate what is evil, cling to what is good, according to Romans 12, verse 9 there. The deserver, discernment is a tool that God gives to believers as they walk through life, though it must be understood, and the believer must follow the Lord's leading for it to be useful. So praise God is like we are, we, we, we are, we are on, we, 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 once we come to God, we like, we are, we are on a training ground. Glory to God. And you know, the spirit of God help us to understand the things of God because he's the one that is working in us, transforming our daily life from day to day. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. The word of God, Jesus said something even about the word of God, as he is the word. In John 6, 63, 
He said, it is a spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And because they are spirit and life, you know, the, the word of God is also able to, to, to discern the thoughts and intents of one's heart. And that drove me to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Hear what the word of God says here. As we are talking about discerning and why it is important to discern. And the writer said here that for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. And is a designer of the thoughts and intent of the heart. Praise the name of Jesus. That's so that all far and so deep that the word of God cut and penetrate. Glory to God. In 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 in, in the soul of men. Uh, it is sword. The let me read again. The word of God is quick and it is powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. That literal sword that we have. So this is the word of God. Very powerful. Jeremiah said that the word of God, they are, they are like fire. They are like a hammer. Glory to God. Remember when, when Jeremiah said, I will not make mention of his name again. Glory to God. But then he said, I feel like the fire shut up in my bones. Glory to God. So he could not hold back, hallelujah, what God have laid, what God is doing in his, in his, in, in, in his, in his body. And the spirit of God is there working within. Can we know how powerful the word of God is? Glory to God. And here it says, it is sharper than any two-edged sword. And so this is how the spirit of God said, so even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. There's nothing else in this life can do such a thing in us. Only the word of God, glory to God, only the word of God can do this, 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 this work in us, this form of work ever transforming our life. Glory to God. Quickening us from day to day. Strengthening us from day to day. Glory to God. Make us more and more into that, you know, as we are spiritual beings, glory to God. And us keeping us so, so closer and unto Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. So I ain't going to have to spend much on some of these verses, scriptures. As I say, it's um, not really a long thing tonight. So as become saints, who is walking in the truth and speaking the things that became a sound doctrine. Titus to remind us that one that, but speak the things that become a sound doctrine. And though, brethren, we are walking in the truth because we are saints and we are speaking the things that become a sound doctrine. Glory to God. We are reminded that, that this world that we are living in right now is a world full of deception. And we know where that is coming from. A world of deception. A world of false teachers, false prophets, false Christ. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus reminds us in, in, in Matthew. I'll just use a few verses tonight. 
not to here's one of them something that Jesus said since I touched on that part Matthew 7 verse 15 said Jesus will remind us beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing but inwardly they are revening wolves that's a warning for us we have to beware of them so basically that is telling that we can only see the outside of, of, of someone but it takes the spirit of God to reveal unto us what is going on what they are about in fact the 16 verse even giving us an answer to that telling us that we shall know them by their fruits glory be to God so this is a warning here for us and it talk about as we are touching the part of say the, the deception that is in this world and the deception that is coming from all these false men and women who professing themselves that they are of God when they are not of God. But thanks be to God for the Holy Spirit which you have given unto us. Hallelujah. And enable us to understand and to know. Oh glory. Hallelujah. Who they are. What they are made of. Glory to God. If we were just like the natural man, then of course, we would not understand. There's no way we could have known what they are saying. Especially nowadays to see oh, men, it's so easy for everyone to go up on the pulpit, my brethren, and they can read from the Bible. They can speak and call the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. But we need our spiritual eyes, glory to God, which will help us to see more clearly and able to detect glory to God if they are true or if they are false. As the writer said, as Jesus said, that false prophets. Paul wrote about also the false teachers. Many of the writers in the Bible remind us of these false teachers that is in this world today glory be to god jesus himself even said that many shall come in that day and say lord lord have i not cast out demons in your name have i not healed the sick in your name glory to god but jesus gonna said depart from me he workers of iniquity i know you not glory to god hallelujah that's why we are the church of God. When we come on the Sabbath day, glory to God. We don't take any mister, mister. Oh, glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm on to something here. Hallelujah. And put up on the altar. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, oh, blessed Savior. The ministry of God, the church of God, which is the pillar and gun of truth. This is not a friend thing. Our, our family thing. Oh, glory to God. It is run. It is led by the Spirit of God. And it must be led. Hallelujah. By the Spirit of God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Else we'll be heading down the wrong pathway. Glory be to God. We can be led astray. So I'm just thinking that, I believe that praise God that Whoever is the head of that congregation, glory to God, must be so mindful, must be so careful that he do not just judge the book by its cover. When somebody come in the assembly and they might say, okay, I am so and so and so and so. That leader must be so connected, hallelujah, and to the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, Jesus, our blessed Savior, and pray. And ask God, say, okay, God, I'm just putting it this way. Hallelujah. How about this man, Lord? This person that come in and worshiping us today. The Holy Ghost will, will tell us. So it's good for them to 
us to seek the Lord first. Inquire of the Lord. Glory to God. Before we put who we, what we think we should put up, up on the altar of oh God, up on the holy altar of God of heaven. Mighty Father God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Jesus. Mighty Father God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, bless his holy name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise his holy name. Glory to God. Because as we say in praise God, glory to God. Men may bear the names that they are so and so and so and so. But as Jesus is saying here, glory to God. Beware of false prophets. Teachers. He also remind us, beware of false Christ. Glory be to God. So we have to be careful and know what we are doing. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. So we see here again, how oh, important, glory to God, is the Holy Spirit. Praise God to give us that discerning. How oh, important it is for us to stay connected. Glory to God. To stay connected to the vine, the true vine, which is Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And to have our spiritual eyes open, not only in the collectively when we are in the church, when we are together, but individually, everywhere we go. Glory to God. That's why the Bible reminds us that all we are to. He said that the, the flesh word against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these two are contrary one to another so that he not be able to do what he cannot do. We must live in the spirit and walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Because we are spirit-filled beings. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And how can we abide in the spirit as we can do what we are doing? The Bible tells us in, in, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, said that she that home men should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And as we are here in our daily walk, abiding in him, as he tells us in John, abide in me and I will abide in you. And we have to just continue to abide and abide. Stay connected. Glory to God and to the true vine which is Christ Jesus, our Lord. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And touching on false teachers, as we are looking at how important it is. Glory be to God. Is discernment. I have another scripture here. I just bring out this scripture. I don't want to use a lot of scripture. I cut down on my scripture then sometime, even tonight. But look at this one here where the Apostle Paul warns us also, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, from verse 13 to verse 15. The writer said here, For such are false apostles, Look at that word, apostles. In the book of Ephesians 4, where Paul wrote, he said, Now that he descended, what is it? But he, but he said, He also that descended. Is the same also that ascended above all heavens and fill all things. And some he gave apostles, some evangelists, some pastors and some teachers. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, it's for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Glory be to God. 
So here in that part, he said, and some he gave apostles. As we know, even the apostles that were walking within him at even at that time when Jesus was on the earth. But here Paul is reminding us, telling us that for such are false apostles, brethren, deceitful workers, glory to God, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Glory to God. Just like what Jesus was saying there, because there are wolves in sheep clothing. Glory to God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And no marvel, said for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So men can continue doing what they are doing. Oh, glory to God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. But their work, whose end shall be according to their works. And surely their works and them cannot be burned with fire. Glory be to God. They're not gonna able to make it in because of what they are doing. Glory be to God. You know, there are other scriptures, even in the book of Peter, that remind us that there are false prophets among us and false teachers. Oh, glory to God in the name of Jesus. In June 19, Jude said that, have that heard us that, that for they are sensual. Glory be to God. These false teachers, glory be to God going about deceiving those who are simple, who do not have the, who do not, who do not walk in the truth, those who not belong unto Jesus. Glory be to God. So we want us, hear us on the line, have to stay rooted and grounded in Jesus. Glory to God. Stay solid in the word of God. Being solid in the word of God. Oh, bless the name Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So Jude said, 19 said that they are sensual. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So as we look at the topic, which I'm going to look into right now, but the natural man cannot receive, but the natural man receive it, not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. You know, sometimes I believe that, you know, we who preach the word of God go from there to there. When we tell people or when we preach to others, it's not for us to fight them down or beat down on them and say like, say, man, why are so fool, fool, man? Why are so whatever, whatever? Anything negative things against them. I try to kill them. Because the only thing that we can do just like the apostles them and many of us. You know many times Paul when he preached, even there on the, the, the and Mars Hill and Athens, the Bible said that praise God, some believe and some did not believe. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And Paul did not fight with anyone. He just gave them the word and went on his way. Oh, glory to God. And so it's the same thing for us. Preach the word. And to them, tell them the good the news. Glory be to God. So when they say, will hear or far beer, our job is us to do what Jesus tells us to do. As he command, if it's unto Jeremiah, just tell them the word, man. i leave it right there. Glory to God. We cannot draw anyone. It's the word of God that do the drawing. So when we speak the word of God, 
Glory to God. And like when Paul said in, in Ephesians 6, there he said, And as for me, let utterance be given, that I may open my mouth and be, speak boldly the mystery of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So as I was saying that our job is just to tell them the word, give them the word, glory to God, and the Holy Ghost will do the rest. Because they are natural men as well as natural women. And it takes the spirit of God. In fact, let me go down some more and bring out a point here as I'm coming down. So, this is, you see how the, the, the natural man received the word of God? The verse said, There are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. He has to be changed. The natural man, which is not a child of God, is basically dominated by the, his physical being, worldly, and natural life, as we were once, even one time back then. He does not have the spirit. He does not have the Holy Spirit until that person believes in Jesus. Glory be to God. Hear the good news and believe in Jesus. And that person is born again. Hear what Jesus said unto Nicodemus. Just a few verses for edification. Picking up from verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, he asked the question, How can a man be born again? When he is old, question, very interesting. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. So that natural man, as we see here in the in the in the topic, this natural man or this natural woman must be born again, must have that change within them. Glory to God in the name of Jesus, must be transformed by the Spirit of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And when he have received Jesus, glory be to God. And receive of his Holy Spirit, then for sure, glory be to God. That natural man or that natural woman, as the topic, as the verse talk about. What if when he hears things again, man, glory to God. It will not be foolishness unto him again, because glory to God. The spirit within him is connected. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The spirit of God is connected in him. And so when he hear about God, glory to God, when he read the Bible, he only hear the preaching. Glory be to God. He will be no foolishness unto him again. Him himself, glory to God, will become a, a weakness of God, a servant of God. Hallelujah. One who's able also to carry the word unto others and to give them the same good news. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. And he said, neither can he know them. Because they are spiritually discerned. 
And that's how we look at how evil, how important is it, is this it to, to, to have that discerning spirit. Glory to God in our lives, in the church. We need it. Glory to God. We need that spirit of discerning spirit. Glory to God. To, 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 to live in as we are living. Glory to God. And in the house of God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I thank God today for the spirit of God. Glory be to God. Because we here at the church of God know that if we go out and mess up, if we go out and mess up, I want God and mess up. Glory be to God. The spirit of God is there to, to, to discern and, re and re reveal things. Glory to God. And say, no, no, Deacon Hall, you messed up last night, man. Glory to God. That's an example, Virgin. Glory be to God. And so when we know we know these things, so we know that we, we, we cannot pretend and believe that. No, say, okay, I make you use myself as an example. I messed up last night or Friday morning or when and what time. And I don't go down and repentance, groan about it. But come to the house of God, glory to God, and don't, and don't, and don't try to you know, don't acknowledge my sin and believe that everything is right. No, I couldn't do that. I cannot, and we cannot do that. Because the Holy Ghost, glory to God, will live up a standard, glory to God, in the name of Jesus. I hear of things back then, what happened in churches, glory to God. But you know, it's the same. Holy Ghost back then operating and here op operating just the same way today. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus. So we're going to be careful in whatever we do and where we go. Because when we think that God do not see or know, God knows. Glory to God. The Holy Ghost is a detector, is a discerner. Glory to God of things. And we thank him God today. Praise the name of Jesus for, the, for his Holy Spirit that he have given unto the church in order for the church to function. You know, there are church and there are churches. We're going to leave that alone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, our blessed Savior. And we know who we are of and who we belong to and who we are led by. And we are led by the Spirit of God. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I bless God this evening, and I thank him. Glory be to God. Somebody said, what kind of church is this? It's the Holy Ghost Church. Glory to God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. That's the church I want to be in at all times. A Holy Ghost Church that is led, that is run. Who is the leader? Is God and his Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, blessed Savior. Mighty God. And so we see, these are just two of the example tonight as we can say yes and clearly say the topic said, oh, important is discernment. Very important. Very, very, I just got to elaborate on that. Very, very, very important. And we need the Spirit of God Glory to God in order for us to be on the right pathway. And we know them that are of false. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus, oh blessed Savior, mighty Father God, oh blessed Savior. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you for your time. You can pray for me because I mean well. Praise God to continue in Jesus' name. God bless you all and God keep you in Jesus' name.